Hi guys! Happy Chinese New Year to all of you! So we're in the Chinese New Year long weekend. No trading day today. But it doesn't stop you guys sending questions about uh, the most pressing questions that you have uh, about the Philippine stock market. This is still our continuing coverage of Now Corporation. Uh, I've got a lot of questions from social media and my website and there were a lot of people who uh, would bump across me and ask about my insights about it so uh, this is our continuing uh, analysis on the stock because fitting leaders there has been a lot of not just volatility in the stock but there's a lot of volume as well so uh, let's try to break down what happened with now corporation uh, not uh, for the past few days now um, let's start with what happened yesterday yesterday was quite a wild swing because uh, we all know the context from that is now moved from seven the broke out from seven uh, as mentioned in the previous videos that if it stays above seven the upward movement the upward push uh, will still pretty much be evident uh, in the stock so it stayed above seven pushed to 10 pushed as high as 15 and then here's the thing as it started to push uh, as high as 15 you saw the stock hit uh, 20 hit uh, intraday high of 20 and open at 17 uh, and people got scared because uh, because it closed lower, it closed at around 13.98, which uh, represented around 8.63% uh, uh, loss or an 8.63% dip uh, in the stock. So, what does this have to do with everything? Number one, uh, please take note that now cannot go up forever. Uh, now can is uh, is like every other stock that people who came in early will be there uh, to also take profits people are in the stock market to make money so a lot of them who position that two three five seven ten at any point even if they sell at 14 15 16 17 as high as 20 a lot of them have already made money or a lot of them are still experiencing paper asset uh, paper gain so if they sell they choose to sell they choose to sell at any point in time they will still uh, make money and that's the beauty about stock investing you have to understand that downward moves like this are normal are part of the game because uh, investors and traders are there are there to take profits and are there to sell and you have to understand that as more people sell no matter how good the company is uh, no matter how good the fundamentals are when they sell uh, the stock will drop I'm not actually saying that the fundamentals of now is actually good I, I, I'll just repeat what I said a few a few videos ago that the movement in now is purely based on speculation it's purely based on uh, the news about the third telco player it's purely based on what it could be in the future if uh, they become they actually become the third telco player that it gets awarded to them this is just purely based on what it could be this is just purely based on market action this is purely just based on supply and demand so with, with that please it's very important especially for people who came in early to still set uh, your take profit areas for me based on technicals it's it would be very very prudent for you to trade using technical analysis since the fundamentals of this stock is not uh, pretty much there yet so uh, it would be very very important for you to set areas where you're supposed to sell for those uh, who bought relatively high I, I, my heart goes out to you because I've mentioned this that uh, the support for the stock is already very very far and as uh, so what we teach in the seminars you're not supposed to chase stock prices and you're not supposed to buy the stock as they are very very far uh, from from the support area and we, no one has a crystal ball on how the stock will go on a day-to-day -day basis no one has a crystal ball also on uh, on what would be its movement on on a day-to-day -day basis so uh, do i know what will happen next i i don't know what will be the stock price of it by monday where it will open where it will close but what i but what i can do is just base my decisions based on technical analysis and based on what the charts are telling me so let's dig, dig in deeper in the technicals let's dig in deeper in what the market uh was telling us on uh, on yesterday's trading session but before that also I'd like to take note that Wednesday the large breakout on Wednesday which brought the stock to as high as 15 pesos per share there was pretty much a large volume there I, be I believe it was around 1 billion uh, value turnover no, 1 billion worth of buying and in technical analysis those who've been following uh, uh, the, the seminars is whenever a breakout happens and there's a large green candle accompanied by large volume that's pretty pretty much bullish however here's one thing that you should note also when the stock hit 20 and the stock uh, closed below 15 and it hit uh, around 13.98 there was a large amount of selling also we have a large red candle with a large 
uh, volume, the volume is around, the value turnover is around 2.2 billion. So what does that mean? It, uh, people are also getting out of the stock right now. It's not just uh, not just a large, not just people, but a large uh, sum of investors have gone out uh, last Thursday, yesterday. So uh, for me, uh, uh, any large movement downward accompanied by volume should be something that you should consider ready as people trying to exit, uh, people trying to take profits as well. However, here's what I also say, that one day's movement might not also be strong enough to destroy the current trend or to destroy the current range. Uh, here's what's worrisome though about now for those who bought at high levels. That's why it's very, very important to buy near the support, to buy at the breakout, or and to just maximize your gains should you have a stock that's breaking out. Please do not buy stocks just to chase them just because you see a lot of price movement across it. Buy it because the buy signals dictate it. So now, uh, where is where are the support ranges for uh, for the stock? But that, uh, first of all, the closest and the strongest uh, nearest that uh, from where we are right now uh, is around seven pesos per share. So that's the tricky part for stocks that have moved up so fast. They fail to develop uh, support and resistance ranges that could possibly uh, protect it from falling. So with that, should there be any stronger downward movement, uh, the next strong support will be ar around seven. But the strongest one. Uh, you could see it at around 5 pesos per share. So uh, I don't know how strong the downward movement will be in the next few days. But should the downward movement exist still, should it still be prevalent, you can expect the stock to probably go to 7 and rest at 5, which is the strongest support level. However, also, looking at oscillators, and now for those who... Uh, uh, attended our sessions, this is for you. Look at the RSI, it really hasn't crossed down yet. Uh, MACD also hasn't shown us any cross down movements as well. Uh, the the, te the 20 day moving average is at around 7 pesos per share, which is also consistent to uh, the support that I've mentioned uh, to you guys. Uh, while this is all happening, um, volume and price oscillators are showing us that uh, money is still moving in. So, pretty much though. From a technical perspective, a lot of the oscillators and moving averages that we have are still pointing that the stock is still uh, bullish on its range and it's still bullish on a trend perspective. Uh, you have to remember this, if you're following technicals, and I'm a big fan of technicals, your goal is not to sell at the peak. You will never determine where the peak is. You will never determine where the highest point uh, of the market is. But your goal is to sell when you see reversals uh, in the stock. So here's the thing. Uh, Try to base your buy and sells based on the parameters that you've set. If you're selling because of MACD and your triggers the cross down from the MACD, sell because of that. If your trigger are the moving averages, uh, set your triggers based on that as well. Uh, do not do not sell just because uh, just because the stock went down. You sell because because your trading signals allow you to uh, how do I put this? Allow you to give you the sell signals that there are. That there are price movements and reversals already with the stock. I'm trying to pull up uh, the five-day moving average to see where the possible support line is for it. The five-day moving average is around 10.8. So if uh, the five-day moving average is relatively shorter, it's not as strong as the 20-day moving average. But if it uh, somehow gives you a reference point of where uh, it is, it's at it's a it's a 10 point uh, it's a 10.8 pesos per share. I'll try to pull up the 10-day moving average. The 10-day moving average is around. It's, a, it's around 8.5 pesos per share, which is where the uh, lowest point of the stock last February 15 hit. So, interesting. Uh, the 5-day moving average is at 10. The 10-day uh, moving average is at... Uh, is, is at... Where is this? 10-day moving average is at 8.8 .8 pesos per share. And then the 20-day moving average is at... Uh, Seven pesos per share. So for those who set your sell signals based on cross downs and that, you can use that as your reference point to sell. By the way, uh, just to show you where the chart is also and where what my references are for this, I'll let me show you and pull out the chart for you guys. So you will see that the, there it is. There's the red candle and there's the 10-day uh, moving average which uh, hit uh, which hit the support range or which was the lowest portion of the candle uh, during. The last trading day yesterday, and you can see the RSI is still overbought, uh, MACD is still above zero, and you see that the direction is still headed up as long as the uh, also money money flow index is showing that money is still moving uh, in in that direction. So, so that's it. Uh, the trend is still pretty much showing us that uh, now is still. Uh, 
bullish for the short, mid, and long term. However, however, because there's no support and resistances that were strong enough that were formed, uh, we we could not have any strong uh, semblance of of a resting place should the sell down occur. So please take note of those levels: 10.8, uh, sev, uh, 10.8. 8.8, 10, 8.8, and also 7 pesos as possible uh, support areas for the stock. But the trend and the range is still pretty much uh, still on the uptick. Uh, just, just to share to everyone, no, uh, this is again uh, moving because of price and sentiment. It's not really based on fundamentals. It's really based on what the news uh, will carry out. If now will become uh, actually the third player or not. Uh, fundamentals have not been there yet because even if they become the third player, it has no guarantee. It has no assurance that they will actually make money off of it in its first uh, in its first year. So, uh, with 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 that, it will it allows Globe and PLDT the ability also to make to make money while uh, this third player might beat out money while this is all happening. So there, if, uh, please also please do not. Uh, Use your emotions in this. Uh, you will lose money if you follow greed and you hold on to something that uh, the, if sell signals will emerge and you still hold on to it, that's when you will lose money. And for those who uh, are a bit fearful, again, do not exercise fear in this. It's, of course, sad to lose money when you buy a stock that's dropping. Uh, but that's why it's very, very important to rely on your technicals. Do not rely on news or speculation. Use your technicals to be able to determine your uh, your entry and exit points up in the stock so if you lo if you lost money in this or you're about to lose money or uh, you came in at a very very high price use this as a learning experience that you don't have to trade every opportunity out there but you only have to trade setups that appeal to you setups that will give you good uh, buy opportunities as well so that's it uh, I'm gonna enjoy this uh, Chinese New Year break here uh, in the south of Manila and it's nice to be back in Manila it's a bit hot it's a bit warm but again, uh, there's still no place like home. Our goal is to do the best that we can in our sphere of, sphere of influence so that uh, we be a blessing to the people around us. We have to understand this when we start earning money, it's just really not just about you, but it's about uh, making the difference in, in, in the lives of the people around you. So, uh, Stock Smarts Manila will be in two weeks. I'm excited. Uh, it's been fun speaking in London, in Dubai, and in other uh, cities outside Manila, but it's nice to be in your hometown. It's nice to be in your home turf. For those of you guys who registered, I'm excited to meet all of you. Uh, it will be in Makati, March 3, March 4, March 17, and March 24 with the whole goal of teaching you how to use technical and fundamental analysis so you guys get to get in the conviction to trade the markets with confidence. So I guess it's it. Uh, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. I'll do stocks by request over the weekend. See you all, see you all soon and happy Chinese New Year to everyone.